Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2020. I almost said December. <laughs> all right, let's get right into your reading. In regards to finances with the element of Earth, we have the Two of Wands. A lot of expansion, you guys. Uh, this is speaking about opportunities. This is talking about growth, advancement, uh, being able to see or attain uh, the visualization of what you're wanting to manifest, being or being able to behold that. Uh, so this could represent um, going into a transition where you are starting to see a lot of doors open up, perhaps doors that have been closed in the past. Um, being able to be around the right people, around the right time, uh, situation and circumstances. This is really taking your power back, Capricorn. Uh, this is speaking about thinking of the future or making plans for the future. Now, in regards to communication with the element of air, we have the eight of swords. So there could be almost a feeling of restriction, being able to... Uh, or not being able to, I should say, express your emotions or express what you're feeling correctly. Uh, this is almost a, a feeling of being restrained, being held back or biting your tongue. Uh, I want to say for the month of September, this could have a lot to do with emotions. As you guys can see here, we see water right at the bottom. Uh, and this is emotion, but it's being interrupted by some part of the earth or the ground. Um, stopping the flow of the water. So again, for some of you guys, this could represent like uh, being restricted or feeling like you have to hold your breath or have to bite your tongue because you're not able to fully express what you're thinking. Um, and this could be in regards to uh, in regards to career. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be almost like uh, really taking charge um, with the two of wands, really taking charge and uh, putting that extra effort or taking it to the next level, but still feeling a little bit restricted or feeling like um, a little bit stressed. And I and I feel that this is more to do with past energies. So for some of you guys, it could be like feeling that people haven't really appreciated the hard work or determination that you've put into uh, a project, uh, the career or the business that you work for. Uh, nonetheless, with the two of wands, I feel that, again, like I said, the eight of swords is more of a passing type of energy. It could be that in the past you felt that way. And this is a clarifier here. So in regards to the obstacle to overcome for this month, you have the nine of cups. So I don't necessarily see the nine of cups as a obstacle other than count your blessings is what they're saying. A lot of you guys have gone through this process where things have not come easy to you and you're getting to the point of feeling emotionally fulfilled or like the manifestations or the things that you've wanted to create in there in your life are starting to uh, manifest for you. But again, this could sometimes uh, speak about having over indulgence or abundance and sometimes mismanagement. So again, be careful with that Capricorn. Count your blessings. Be thankful. Put out into the universe that bountiful type of energy. But at the same time, be practical in your approach of handling money. So uh, this could be if you're starting to make more money instead of spending it or spending it on things that you don't necessarily need. Uh, put it to the side for safekeeping, for a rainy day, for a vacation, for anything that has to do with looking towards the present and moving forward to the future. Um, th this is an overfeeling uh, over of overachievement. And sometimes when we feel that way, we can get to the point of feeling like we deserve it because we've gone through it. We've gone through difficult situations, but it almost goes to the point of like borderline being ungrateful. So again, count your blessings and be thankful. Take the lessons that have been learned or that you have been going through for the past three years as experience and lessons. And now that you're going into this new era of abundance and opportunity, being very grateful and thankful is going to open up more opportunities for you, Capricorn. 
Now, in regards to love and romance, you have the hermit card. So the hermit card could represent um, feeling a little bit isolated. For some of you guys, it could be because you've been very focused with work. It could be that you have literally have isolated yourself to the point of going from work to your home, your home to work, that type of energy. But the hermit card also signifies working within ourselves, our spiritual nature. Are you feeding yourself? Are you feeding yourself in the sense of, are you connecting with spirit? Are you thanking them for all the lessons and hard work that you've put into uh, the obstacles that you've overcame? Are you going within and internalizing those lessons that have continuously kept coming up the past two years and now you're getting to the point of completely removing those obstacles and going into the next phase of your life uh, more stable but again with the hermit card it's really connecting with with your spiritual side it's really becoming aware or uh, taking those lessons and being grateful and thanking your spirit guides or your guardian angels for uh, being there for you throughout this whole process because I do see for a lot of you guys it's been very difficult and I think for the majority of you the past two years have been all to do with life lessons which um, when we talk about life lessons they're usually very difficult uh, circumstances that we need to learn from so again the hermit is that of going within ourselves and knowing the light that we carry and not allowing ourselves to be uh, diminished or our light to be diminished by others people perceptions of us now in regards to spirits advice here you have the three of cups sorry the three of pentacles so i see you guys working very well for some of you guys it could be that you're going into a partnership or have been working in a partnership with where three people are involved uh, for others of you it's working with people that are very supportive people that want the same goals and aspirations that you do it is very receptive type of energy so very very positive what spirit is saying here the threes are uh, more than anything to me the three is a very powerful number this is a number that speaks about um, the process of manifestation <clears throat> but it also speaks about growth and through difficult situations there is growth that is achieved um, so now with this uh, rune card here, this is all to do with transformation. So again, it's hidden blessings. I think that for a lot of you guys, it has been extremely difficult. Uh, the life lessons that have needed to be learned this past year um, have really challenged you, Capricorn, especially because of your ruling planet. It's not an easy planet to deal with. But the positive of this is that that father type of energy, which is Saturn, um, is the type of energy where if you put in that extra work if you haven't given up and you continuously keep pushing forward it will bless you it will bring to you blessings fortune success um you know emotional fulfillment all of this is what that ruling planet does it it, it brings to you uh, stability that is going to affect you for a very long time so again if you're putting that work and you've overcame and you haven't given up uh, Capricorn uh, keep in mind that the blessings are coming your way because there is a hitting blessing behind those lessons that you've learned uh, throughout this year so I think that for uh, you Capricorns out there the month of September is going to be almost very eye-opening for you guys a lot of doors and opportunities opening up no further resistance so it's almost like the universe is conspiring uh, to prove to you that your hard work and determination is paying off so very beautiful reading Capricorn I hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment and we'll see each other soon bye